Hey y'all, uh, thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy on YouTube with My Favorite Groomer. So right now I'm going to actually change out a blade drive for my Andis clippers that seem to be giving me a little bit of edge lines. I've probably groomed uh, over 200 pets before I've changed out the blade drive, so it just depends on when you see those lines start to appear, this is how you want to change out your blade drive. It's something you should know how to do if you are a groomer so that you can quickly do it yourself. So here's everything I have on the table. I'm going to try to make this pretty quick. I'm going to go through how I would clean my blades. And I could possibly be doing them the slightly wrong. I'm not a blade person. But I am going to clean them how I, I, I'm going to show you how I've cleaned them all these years. And how I apply oil, which I need to grab my oil. Um, and how you can also be cleaning your, your shears. I'm not a pro at this. This is just for me to quickly be able to do it and then I just get them sharpened. I, I usually get my blades sharpened like 20 blades every six months. So I, I have a lot of blades I stack up for sharpening. Um, but here we go. Let me grab the oil and then uh, we'll go over here and I'll show you what we've got going on. So I've got all my stuff set up, what I need. I've got a towel here that I'm going to use to wipe down my stuff. I've got a towel laying here because it's going to be a, a little bit of oily mess. My blade drive, which is an Andis blade drive, I sell everything I use, so if you need something, let me know. My blades and guards. Alcohol, just in case if that's what you want to use. Uh, this disinfectant cleaner, clipper blade, all in one situation. Coolant, disinfectant, lubricant, cleaner, and rust preventative. Um, a screwdriver. S uh, scissor oil. Toothbrush. And my blow dryer over here. I've got my blow dryer. That's going to come in handy to blow out some hair in uh, some inconspicuous areas. And we've got the oil here. So again, if you need anything, please email me. Um, you can go to myfavoritegroomer.com and email me through there. That's what I would prefer. Otherwise, check the bottom. Maybe I'll be able to post an email on there. Um, or send me a message through YouTube. So it's uh, one or the other. A bunch of ways to get a hold of me. Um, if you go to myfavoritegroomer.com, you can get the phone number there. You can text me, whatever, however you want to do it. Okay, so first of all, uh, second of all, I have two clippers. This is, um, I've sold all of my beginner clippers uh, because I've just give, sold them pretty cheap to people who want to start grooming. This is one of my backups. I always have a backup. So this is a backup, and I have a backup um, in my trailer as well. And then I have the one I'm actually using. And I just actually moved to this clipper this uh, last year, 2016, I think. Much lighter than this one. But yesterday, uh, the day before, I actually used this one. It is pretty much heavier now that I'm used to this one. But it took me a year to get used to where the on and off buttons are these. That's kind of why most groomers don't change. For me, personally, I'm so... This is... I could turn this on and off just because I've been doing using this one so long. My hand is memorized the on and off. Me personally, to keep the blade as cool as I can, I've trained myself to, while I'm grooming, turn this off and on. If I'm not touching the dog, I turn it off. I don't walk, I try not to walk around too much, you know, without it being off. So when I've groomed with this for over 10 years, this style hand, it's the only reason I kept, kept it. I tried the Oster, but the Oster off and on buttons back here. So for speed, now it's, you know, it just took me a long time to move from this to an Oster, and I didn't like it. So I, I sold the Osters. So then uh, it did take me about six to ten months to get used to this on and off button, which is here. Now I can now I just go back here and go boom, 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 right? Um, versus here, it was my my uh, two fingers like this. So that's really why you pick a, a clipper for yourself, and you stay with one. You just get used to using it if you're doing a lot of dogs. Okay. Uh, there's no other reason for me. It might be the weight of the dog, the where the on and off power is, and how. Um, not they all kind of clip the same you just got to get used to what what you want to get used to so this is the one we actually need to change and you can see it's pretty hairy in there so i'm gonna i've got a little trash can here i'll just also use and hopefully you guys can see so i'm actually going to um just take my toothbrush and get some of this hair out of the way just put that in there some chunks of hair coming out of there. Just dust that all off. If you want to now, take your blow dryer. Kind of blow that off in there. Now, 
Now, um, we'll do, I'll do a little bit, I'm not going to make this video too long, hopefully. So you're going to now take, there's uh, two screws here, I'm going to take these off. Lighting sucks in this back room, but hopefully you guys understand kind of what I'm doing here. We're taking these two screws off here. Put your back into it. <laughs> okay. If you have a little tiny screwdriver, you can do that. Like, it would be much faster than this hand. Uh, mine, I have one, but it's not charged up. So, take all this out. You can see it's kind of dirty in there. Can you see it's kind of dirty in there? So, I'm going to now, again, use my toothbrush and kind of clean off, just wipe, get some of that hair out of the way there. Oh, you guys, I bet I don't even need... Anyways, I guess I can clean it while I'm here. I don't even think I need to do that with this one. I think I just popped this off. Sometimes this sucker will just pop off on... Oh, yeah, I didn't even need to do that. So, anyways, I, I might as well. So, now I'm cleaning this whole in area. I'm actually going to blow it off with my blow dryer. So I blue dry both sides of that baby in and out, you know, blue dry it, okay? So now I can see these two are going to go there. Now I've flipped it over and I'm going to take this piece out. And let's just say I didn't have um, my a blade drive, I, I but I do have a backup and this is the one I prefer to use. I would take, as long as it's the same brand. The blade drives are different when it comes to Anderson Oster and some of your other brands. So I would actually take that old the blade drive from my backup and put it in this one. That's if I didn't have one handy. This guy's being a little stubborn. Kind of push and pull there. You got those two screws. And if you don't remember how it's going to go in, lay, lay it up to the side there so you can kind of see. I'm just going to put it in just like that. So that's looking good there. I'm going to have to move that back and forth just to get it real tight. Just kind of push that, go back and forth a little bit. Now take your screws out all the way. It looks like you can push them in a little bit too. So push and pull. So pull those right out and put them back in this side. This booger is not going in there so I'm going to put that on the edge of my screwdriver and assist it into that. Okay. And then tighten back and forth so it's got an even tighten. Even tightens up evenly there. And don't over torque it but do make sure it's tight. Looks good. And then you can pop this baby back on. We're going to put this all back together here. Got, I'm going to wipe this a little bit here. Looks like there's some hair and some oil. Looks like it fits in there real nicely. And then this one's trash, right? Let's get that out of the way. Just throw that one away. Lay that in there. Put your screws back into there. Get it started and let's get this one started then. Okay. Tightening them back and forth. You want that tight, so keep going. I'm holding the handle pretty good here. Holding my clippers pretty tight here. Lay it down. Make sure it's pretty tight. Good. Okay. 
good to go. So now I'm gonna put this, put this back on here, clip that. Just remember that one, just clip it off and okay. Let me plug this baby in, double check it, make sure it's working. Okay. Looking good. They put this little fiber sponge in there. It always holds hair. I hate that. So if you want to be, you can come in here and take this hair like that. Stupid place to put that that fiber sponge there. I guess maybe it's supposed to grab that hair before it goes into the clippers. Maybe I don't know, but I don't like it. Makes it hard to keep your stuff clean, and I hate looking at all that hair stuck in there. So there we go. That's good enough. Why not spray this baby like this? We've got everything on. Wipe her down a little bit. Okay. Now. Now that we've gotten this good to go, I'm going to take this and blow this out right in here, this blade. And you do this to all your blades if you want. If you need a blow dryer, let me know. You don't have to buy the one I have. It's pretty expensive. But then I'm going to come over to the trash can and brush all that hair out of the teeth. You can also put this on here and brush it like that while it's on. And in this case, you know, I'm gonna actually take all this out. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do all these, not while I'm recording myself, but. And so I'll take this all out if you want. Why not? We're in there anyway. Did I tell you this job's hairy? <laughs> okay. Now, this is how I'm gonna oil the blade. I'm gonna do a few drops here, a few drops here. And I don't like doing this while I'm grooming. I used to do that and I'd be like, why is it all getting stuck on the dog? Well, hello, it's oil. Let it go down and then when I'm done here, I'm gonna take it off and put it upside down there. And I would do all these, okay? So that's, that's something there. Um, and maybe even if you want to, you could spray it like that. Okay, and wipe down the blade, my bad. That's what we should have done. We wipe it anyways, spray it. Clean it, spray it, wipe it down, then oil it. My bad. Okay, so that's what you would do, okay? That process was all jacked up. Okay, let's go to the uh, shears. I'm going to do both my clippers. I'm going to clean them up pretty good. Okay, let's just, and so you got to have sheer oil. So, I'm going to do this. Disinfect it. They're going to cut you, so be careful, you guys. And you can come back here if you want to use alcohol. You can use alcohol. Do you think, you know, whatever you decide you want to do, however you want to do it. Okay? And then you want to apply this oil right here. Kind of just right here. I'm gonna... It's like, is it coming out? Of course not. Sorry y'all, running almost into that 15 minutes. Maybe it's like that. I think it's more, yeah, there, there we go those in the trash. You're going to oil it like this. Put that back on. Go like that. Okay. 
and we are good to go. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, make sure you change in your blade drives when you've got jagged edges. Clean your tools. And all right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching Dee Croy, my favorite groomer.